guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today i really appreciate it so i know that some of you noticed right away that my background is a bit different that's what i've been working on i've been working on changing up a lot of stuff for my videos so that i can bring you the best quality possible so that's the reason for my hiatus but i'm back I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> like Bryce and Tilla say, I'm back and I'm better. And I just, I just know that I would not be taking a long hiatus like that again. I plan to keep on bringing you good quality videos. So I'm gonna do an update about what all I've changed in another video. But because in this video I have a lot of information to share, I just want to jump right in. So let's go right in to talking about these brushes. Oh, before I go, I'd like to mention that this video was a request from someone. I'm not going to call their name, but um, this is a response to your question. I hope that it's helpful, and I hope that it helps anyone who is searching to find information about makeup brushes. So, I'm going to be talking about my eyeshadow brushes today. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's jump right in. All right, guys. So, what I'm holding up now are all of the brushes that I use to do my eyeshadow. I use both high-end, my Sigma brushes, and low-end brushes, which are my Amazon brushes. I got these brushes on Amazon for $3.99 for the whole set of 12. And my Sigma brushes, I got these from the Sigma website. These brushes retail for $17 for one brush. I have six of them, and I'm going to be showing you five of them today. So, while I'm doing this, while I'm talking about my Sigma brushes, I'm going to show you brushes from the Amazon set that can do the exact same task as the Sigma brushes. So you're going to be able to choose whichever brushes that you want to invest in. Alright guys, so what I'm holding up now are my Sigma brush, which is on, the, on my right. And my, a brush from the Amazon brush set. These two brushes are the most fluffy brushes that I have for eyeshadow. And I usually use these fluffy brushes for my transition color. The transition color is the color that you use uh, that is lightest in the look. So you know that I'm always talking about the gradient effect. When we go from light to dark in an eyeshadow look. So you use a fluffy brush for the to start the gradient, which is the lightest color in the look. So why do we use a fluffy brush? We use a fluffy brush because when you use a fluffy brush, it deposits the color nice and soft. So the first eyeshadow that you use, you want it to go on nice and soft and light. And that is the color that all of the other eyeshadows will blend upward into. So you typically put the, the transition color on the upper crease so that the other colors can be able to blend upward into them to create that gradient. So for our first brush, which is our fluffiest brush, we use it for our transition color. If you have a brush set, any eyeshadow brush set, the fluffiest brush in that set will be used to do your transition color. So that's our first Okay guys, so in my right hand, I'm holding up my Sigma E35 brush. And in my left hand, I'm holding up a brush from Amazon that is similar to the Sigma E35 brush. And this brush is for the second color in our eyeshadow look. And I'm thinking about a smoky eye when I'm talking about these brushes. So in our eyeshadow look, you want to go from light to dark, like I said. So we're going to a color that is just a little bit darker than our transition color with this brush. And you can see that this brush, the second brush that we use, it's still fluffy. It's still a nice fluffy brush that we use to put on our second color. But it's not as fluffy as the first brush that we use for our transition brush. So the first brush, the E40 brush, we'll only use that brush once in our look and that is for the transition color. And secondly, we grab, we choose this brush because 
it allows us to go a little bit lower than the first transition color and we're going small with these brushes because if we use the same fluffy brush if we use the same fluffy brush to put on our second transition color what is going to happen this big brush is going to overlap the first transition color so if I go to put it on in my crease, it will, it, it will just overlap the color and you wouldn't be able to see the first transition color. So in order to prevent overlapping, well, I, to prevent the colors from overlapping too much, so we go in with a smaller brush. You can see that these brushes uh, go from big, which is the E40, to a little bit smaller, which is the E38, E35, I'm sorry. Okay guys, in my left hand, I'm holding up the Sigma E38, and in my right, I'm holding up a brush from the Amazon brush set that can complete the same task as the Sigma E38. So, with the E38, we're going darker with our color, so this is our number three brush. And what we use this for, we use this for our darker colors. So as we go smaller with our brushes, we go into darker colors. So it's like the deep browns, the deep plum colors. Those colors, we go into the crease with those colors. And this brush is perfect for working into the crease because it is small and it would not cause those colors to go too high so that the color that we put down previously would not get lost. So this is the smaller brush that I use to take up my dark colors and work them into my crease area. So I suggest that you get the E38 brush for darker colors into the crease and then make this your third brush, the third brush that you would use in your eyeshadow look. I'm holding up the Sigma E45 brush. As you can see, this is a pencil brush. And I use this brush to work into my crease. I love this brush. You can see that it's a dome shaped brush. And the bristles of this brush is quite long. So that makes it easier to go into the crease with your darker colors. And the reason why I love this brush, the number one reason I love this brush is because I have hooded eyes and the dome shape of the brush makes it easy for me to get right in there and place the colors wherever I need them to go. And I'm just showing you, like I'm just showing you where I would place the colors. I'm not showing you how to blend or anything. I'm just showing you where I would place the colors. So this is the brush that I will use for my darker colors. This is my fourth brush. I'm using this for my dark, dark brown blacks and darker colors that I need to build depth. And most of the time, I just concentrate the depth on the outer V of my eyes. So this is the brush that I will use to work on the outer V. And like I say about gradient, the depth of the eyeshadow is so important. And the brush that you use is important because you don't want to carry any dark colors or yeah, you don't want to carry any dark colors too high into the eyeshadow look. Like you don't want your blacks to come all the way up here. So you want to choose a smaller brush that can really concentrate in the area that you want that color to go. Keep it with the same theme of a smaller brush. This brush is one of my favorite brushes to do the exact same task as I use my pencil brush for. I use this brush to go into the crease and really build up some of that depth because some brushes is difficult to use to get into the crease like like I first said a fluffier brush so I use this brush it's so it's so handy because this brush is fluffy this brush is fluffy but it's also small like it doesn't have a lot of bristles and it just fans out enough to you know blend it just fans out enough to blend it doesn't turn into a fluffy transition color brush but it's fluffy enough to get rid of any obvious lines of eyeshadow or any sharp lines or harsh lines in the eyeshadow but it's small enough to concentrate that color exactly where you want it to go 
I like this brush also for the purpose of placing eyeshadow under on the lash line. I like to smoke up my lash line sometimes and I find that this brush is really really great for that purpose and also I feel like it's you can use this to apply some highlighter if you want to and also go into the inner corner of the eye with this brush that's what I've used it for so far so I'll give you three reasons that you should purchase this same brush especially if you have hooded eyes if you already have an eyeshadow set I suggest getting this particular brush from the this brush is from the Amazon brush kit and I would compare it to this brush but you can see how the Sigma brush is a lot um, is a little bit skinnier but a lot skinnier than the Amazon brush this brush has a lot more bristles than this brush has and I feel like you have you would have to be really 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 careful with the Amazon brush in your eye look because I feel like if you are not too careful this brush can defeat the purpose of having a smaller brush because to me it's fluffy and if you're not careful this can really really go high into the this can really go high into the eye look if you're not careful with this I suggested this brush because this is actually the smallest brush in the Amazon brush kit but I don't suggest this for all the purpose that I said this brush is good for I would not go under my eye with this I would not do any of that or any of this with this brush because this is a bit fluffy but inside the crease I can see this working for you to create depth into the crease and I'm gonna do a demo on all of these brushes that I talk about here today I'm gonna show you a smoky eye with these brushes but I hope that you find this video helpful and if you have any questions please be sure to leave a comment I like answering questions I actually love to answer your questions and also I hope that for those persons that are not subscribed that you go ahead and you hit the subscribe button become part of the beautiful family also click the like button if you enjoy this video I will definitely definitely be updating you with more videos on these brushes and how to use them so before I go I want to let you know that I have an Instagram page I will leave the handle for my Instagram in my description box and also be sure to check my description box for any information that you may have missed I will fill my description box with everything that I mentioned in this video so I'm gonna talk to you guys later I hope that you enjoy the rest of the day talk to you later bye